So in today's video, I want to talk about the A-Torch programmable load that I've got. I don't remember how many watts this is. I think it's 150 or 50. I really don't remember. But uh, this unit is actually extendable. You can uh, breadcrumb and Lego more of these together. So it's a pretty nice system. And it was by far the cheapest load that was serious enough to... Um, fit my needs which are currently to load down scooter batteries which are 42 volts 41 and none of the usb loads i had came even close so i had no real low real way of actually loading these down <clears throat> all right and let's see how much power this draws i actually think this really wants its fan constantly running which is very annoying yeah, like that's quite cumbersome, to say the least. I think the fan is somehow... One thing I will say is this connector block is very nice. Feels quite sturdy. I am enjoying it. So we'll connect the adapter, which should still take plus to the square side, which should be the plus on this side, right? So what happens if I holy shit motherfucker let me see if I have one of those lying around yeah I can't say that I don't so let's do some more XT30 magic and uh, there is I think a reverse polarity diode so nothing really bad should should happen okay so nothing so far Man, this is a long chain of adapters. So it's seeing the 41 volts. That's nice. How do we set the... Um, voltage set. No, I don't, I don't want this. I actually do want to disconnect this for a while we're doing this because this is quite stressful so it's now offline uh i do want the mode to be constant current not constant resistance not constant well we could do constant power yeah why not time discharge no cutoff voltage no nah. All right, and now, so on off is here at the bottom and we have plus and minus. And we can go, yeah, to be honest, I want more watts. I want like 50 watts out of this. So yeah, let's, let's connect it. We should see 41 appear over there. Uh, power is point like one watts why but if we turn it on power is ramping up to 49 all right so technically we're doing 1.2 amps out of this and you can see that this is the case because the LED on the Xiaomi power bank uh, power packs Starts blinking long. Okay, so this can't really do 50 watts. Why can't it do 50 watts though? It has a bunch of resistors here. Is it cold? Alright, I. Fan temperature 200 degrees. Hmm. Is it really? So this beat. Oh, these bitches at the back are pretty cold. And the fan is in full speed. I mean, this can definitely dissipate. 50 watts. Let's just reboot it. Although I think there is a problem with the temperature sensor which I have no idea where they placed. 
Yeah, I'm kind of sad. This doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot. Fan temperature 20 degrees. All right, there's definitely a problem with this. So yeah, it seems to be doing something. And then we have the fan temp, which is, it seems to be moving. It seems to be having an imperfect contact because it's usually how that behaves. Aye, but the fan is so loud. Oh my god. Damn. Seems to have sort of stabilized. I don't know what that was. Maybe I can update the firmware on this. We'll see. If any of you guys have updated the firmwares on these, or if you know there's a if there's any custom firmware for them, that would be super nice. So yeah, 50 watts, let's just go higher. I don't know. Can we do 150? How do we approve? Oh, we're doing 150. Holy shit. So we're doing 3 amps. Yeah? 4 amps at 40 volts. Yeah. So I'm drawing 150 watts out of this big boy. Yeah, not super bad. I have to say. I really did need a way to... Um, Put some weight out over these, right? Can we do more? All right. Okay, chill out. Why aren't we doing it anymore? Okay, so after an overpower event, it doesn't seem to clear itself, which is a bit annoying. Nice boot screen though. Why, but this fan, man, is just killing me. It does do 150 though, so I will give it that. These resistors on the side get moderately now nah, they just get lukewarm so and the heat sink the main heat sink is indeed kind of warm so at this kind of rating i think they do need the full fan speed so i will not bitch about that but um yeah i don't know now let me show you guys the menus right quick and if there's anything else i'll make an extra video because if yeah but the, the ui is quite self-explanatory so this just changes the cursor plus and minus long press changes the mode i don't know what brt means i'll have to look that up um i like constant power i have to say and i think if you press on off for long it goes into settings and uh let's have a quick look over those over the fan man jesus so i think you can change the 150 watts in case you extend this i would imagine uh people have bitched about the bluetooth app but have eventually seemed to have gotten it to work i might get an android phone what's the fan doing Yeah, I don't know. So if I touch this side. Is it supposed to do this? Nah, something's off with some, some connections. Anyway, I'll look into that. Uh, so... English is fine, display brightness. 
9. Yeah, 9 is fine, it's not that bright. Standby brightness. No, I don't want standby brightness. Standby 60 seconds, we don't care about it. Precision of current. Why? Jeez, I don't know. I don't want to do any of that. Over voltage 210, that is nice. Over current 25 amps, that's nice. Default settings, exit reset, yeah, that's fine. So not a lot going on over here. Anything else? I don't know. Let's try booting it whilst pressing buttons. Okay, that does nothing. Negative. Does nothing. All right, so. Pressing M whilst booting will let us select, apparently, or does it show us? So we have the 150. No, I think it just shows us which one we have. Okay. That's nice. And let's press the plus in Bluetooth. Maybe that does any, does some Bluetoothy stuff. I don't know. I haven't read the manual, obviously. Oh, but yeah, we can see the Bluetooth icon over here. Yeah, I don't know. I might do a follow-up once I get used to this. And if you guys ask in the comments or are very interested, I can probably do a more informed overview of this and tell you guys how I fixed the fan because that seems very unhappy at the moment. But yeah, that's been it. Hope it was useful and hope my rambling wasn't too obscene. Have a good one. Uh, there's a few things I want to do. Uh, these are actually externally powered. Most of them I don't really like that, but I do kind of get it. It came with this uh, 30 gram, including the wire power adapter. I'm not going to use this. It's probably meh, but uh, not super keen on it so i did cut the wire and what i plan on doing initially is um oh by the way it did come with the temperature probe so that's nice and it came with this uh usb barrel jack adapter and very nicely it also came with this so you can play around with a lot of batteries uh yeah not bad in the two-wire measurement going on over here very nice yes yeah, so that's that I think they could have filled all of this with more so although yeah I don't know is it double-sided no it's not oh, it is yeah mm. anyway so um Yeah, what I'll be doing is I'll taking I'll be taking a trigger, and I need a 12 volt trigger. Let's see what I have here for 12. I think this is 12. So let's test that out right quick. I have a bunch of them here. Some big, some small. Yeah, they're mostly all fine. Uh, they're not quick charge though, they're all power delivery, so nothing will work with this kind of wire because this just simply doesn't carry the channel configuration uh, pin. Anyway, so... This is very barbaric, I'm really sorry that I have to show you guys this, but uh, it really is a case of piss with the cock you've got. And yeah, a lot of options. Yeah.
<clears throat> so I think that's it. Uh, we'll let that cool down ever so slightly. But in the meantime, I want to actually convert this to my XT60 fabric. So I'll be, um, yeah, this, these, these might actually be useful as they are. Let's see how well they've, yeah, they've done a potentially okay job here. Although, yeah, not super great. See the positive. Positive, somewhat, maybe better. Yeah. Anyway, let's cut these off. Round about here. Yeah, these seem like good wires. So what I basically want to use is exactly this adapter, which would uh, slot right into the batteries. Um, yeah, let's just go with that. Good thing is these uh, clear heat shrinks are way more temperature resistant than the colored stuff, so they'll easily take a lot more abuse, which is exactly what we need. Yeah, alright, I suppose. <clears throat> 